Today, I'll be showing you how to get all of the elemental evolutions in Pixelmon. So the first step to getting all of the different evolutions is to have Pixelmon installed. If you guys haven't done this already, I'll leave a link at the top of the description below that'll teach you how to install Pixelmon. Once you guys do, all you have to do is go to multiplayer uh, and then add server, type in play.anubis mc.com hit enter and then my server anubis mc should pop up from there double click just like you should uh, single click the like button uh, don't double click it because i'm pretty sure it doesn't work like that once you join the server just run directly forward to the man in the suit and right click well it looks like we spawned at my house and oh my gosh wait somebody built a massive castle we also have Beckbro jack's cursed sheep only wild sheep on the server contained for your safety what is so bad about this sheep should i be worried have a cookie sheep so the first step to getting all the different evolutions is firstly to get an eevee i look really cool but i'm not cool enough yet because i don't have an eevee eevee spawn naturally in the birch biome so we're gonna need to randomly teleport around until we can find one and then we have to locate an eevee i don't think they're that rare but we're going to need to find at least eight of them one for each of the different elemental evolutions i see birch trees eevee does anybody see an eevee we need eevee e e v e e this might take a little bit longer than i I thought. Oh, uh, Evie! Evie! Evie, go home! No, don't go home! Stay here! Yes, we actually found one! Okay, so uh, I completely forgot that my entire team is level 100s, and we have somebody named Yeeter McGeeter. Let's just go into my PC. We're gonna need to swap it out for something a little bit less intimidating. Uh, this guy looks good. Evie, you are now mine! All right, so let's just try out a simple Pokeball. I don't have any Pokeballs, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use a quick ball. Now, today we're gonna need to catch catch a ton of Eevees. So if you guys noticed one throughout today's episode, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. All right, well, that did not work. So we're gonna need to go ahead and swap out our Pokemon. Let's go to a Whismur. Whismur. Let's try to go and do the pound. Pound attack. Okay, wait, this is perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get the Eevee down to red and then we should be able to throw an Ultra Ball at it and it will get inside and it will never escape. Then I can show you guys how to get the first elemental evolution. Uh, did I really just kill the Eevee? All right, well, we're gonna act like that didn't happen. Conveniently, another one spawned in right here. Love me, Eevee. Why are you running? Please stop running. The Eevee is officially down to red. Now I need to go grab an Ultra Ball. We're gonna throw it at the Eevee's face and hopefully it stays inside and loves me forever. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! We have done it! We have an Eevee! Let's go! Okay, now let's take it back home, and I'll show you guys how to get the first evolution. Most of them are actually really, really easy to evolve. There's some that are a little bit more difficult and complicated, so be sure to watch through the entire video so you know exactly how to do it. So we have our Eevee right here, and the first evolution that we're going to be doing is the Water Elemental Evolution. Comment down below your favorite at the end of today's episode, and also comment down below nicknames for each one of my Elemental Evolutions. So this one turns Eevee from a little tiny rabbit creature to a fish. Also, when you evolve them, they actually learn different type moves. So Vaporeon just learned Water Gun. <laughs> I can also ride on its back now. Wait, are we faster in the water? Oh my gosh, we are. It's so tiny though. So obviously that wasn't that difficult, right? Uh, we're also going to be using all of these items in this chest. So eventually we'll have a fire Eevee, a thunder Eevee, a leaf Eevee, and also an ice Eevee. But for the time being, since we only captured one Eevee, we need to go back to some sort of birch forest and find a lot more. Let's ride off into the sunset, Vaporeon. More birches. <gasps> Eevee spotted. Hello, little baby Eevee. You stay very, very still right there. Let's actually try to use Vaporeon against the Eevee. Let's test out a little tiny water gun. Oh my gosh, we got a critical hit. Okay, the Eevee is dropping very low. I don't want to accidentally kill it like I did before. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna use an Ultra Ball. Especially, we, yeah, we should probably do that before I make any uh, stupid decisions here, like try to use a quick attack. Come on, come on, work. It broke free? I guess I'm gonna use a tackle. That just barely worked. Let's go. Okay, now we can go in here, Ultra Ball it up, and that better work. There's no way the Eevee can resist the ultra power of the ultra ball. Eevee broke free? Are you kidding me? Uh, what do I, I have? Baby doll eyes. It avoided the attack and it keeps using sand attack. This is bad. Also, what happened to the entire world? The entire world is just gone. It looks like I have a tail. It doesn't matter though. We caught the Eevee. Let's go back home and let's get my personal favorite, the Thunderstone. Uh, so now if we plop down Eevee and I'm actually, wait, I'm kind of curious if I plop down Vaporeon as well. If I use the Thunderstone on you, okay, good. It does nothing. But if I use the Thunderstone on Eevee, it should evolve into Jolteon. This is amazing. Okay, it's where 
working, and this is literally my favorite. It's like an electricity dog. All right, we also learned a brand new attack, Thundershock. Jolteon is easily the coolest evolution ever. Don't even try to think about it in any other way than I just said. So now we have Vaporeon and Jolteon. I was just randomly teleporting around, and I just found the most insane builds. Wait, this is crazy. They have their own Poke Center. They just have this huge pickaxe shrine over here. This is so sick. There's huge houses. They literally have a giant temple. And what is that? They have an arena. Let's go check out what's inside. Wait, no way. There's an Eevee. Thank you, crazy gods of amazing Eeviness. I have no idea how this Eevee got inside of here. All right, does not matter. We're going to catch it. Let's go ahead and use Jolteon's Thundershock ability. Well, that is effective. We should be able to use it one more time. Oh, this is perfect. And now all we have to do is hit it with the Ultra Ball. Come on, come on. Get inside of the Ultra Ball. Don't fight it. How does it fight the Ultra Ball? It's level 11. It is level 11. This doesn't make sense. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to keep pelting it with the Ultra Ball over and over and over and over again until it eventually gets inside. And it got inside. All powerful Eevee God. Thank you. By the way, for those of you guys that want to check this out yourself, here are the coordinates on the top uh, left hand of my screen. Shout out to the people that built this. You guys did an amazing job. However, we must continue our quest to get all of the elemental Eevees. The next one we're going to be getting is the Firestone Eevee. It's working. Okay, this one is probably my second favorite evolution. Flareon's really cool, and Flareon just got huge. Look at that tail. Oh yeah, now we're rocking, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're flipping rocking. I'm pretty sure these were the three OG elemental evolutions. Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon. The next Eevee we're going to be creating is a little bit more complicated. I'll show you guys in just a second when we find another birch forest. Oh, it's the sweet, sweet birches. Oh, how I've missed you, birch tree. Magikarp, get away from me. I'm not looking for you. Why, yes, no, no. I thought you were the thing I was looking for. You are just a deer. I will be on my way. Oh, I've spotted it. The wild Eevee. It is over there past the brush. We will snipe it with a Flareon in three, two, one. It, it, my, my cover is blown. Engage. Got it. All right, let's go ahead and use a Flareon's Ember ability. Ember. Ember. Okay, good. Eevee did not get burned by my Ember ability, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use Pokeball Ultra Ball. Come on, come on, get inside. Why does it, why, why, why does my screen always go dark whenever I throw the, the ball at the Eevee? It literally makes no sense whatsoever. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use it for the second time. Normally, the second time does the charm. I don't know why it takes two Ultra Balls. It didn't even take two Ultra Balls. It's gonna have to take three Ultra Balls to catch a level 11 Eevee. This thing is supposedly able to catch legendary Pokemon too. How is it escaping? What if I give Eevee a helping hand? It, it failed, never mind. For whatever reason this is not working so i'm gonna go ahead and increase my luck by putting on the clout goggles come on how's it breaking free yeah the clout goggles always work <laughs> We're gonna save these for later. So the next evolution I want to show off to you guys is Espeon. Espeon is going to need lots of zinc, which should increase the happiness of the Eevee. Let's try it out. So we're gonna go ahead and increase the happiness, hopefully. Uh, I think I should be able to actually check its happiness by going into its stats, and you'll see somewhere in stats the happiness level. So it's at 75. As you can see, it went all the way up to 90 after I gave it a couple more with zinc. So I've been feeding this thing zinc, and it has happiness 100. So I'm hoping that that's enough. And now I'm pretty sure the only thing you have to do is level up the Eevee during the day. Well, that didn't work. Are you not happy enough? Do you not love me? Come on, Eevee, we have work to do. Guys, I'm also pretty sure that any Pokemon that you leave out of the Pokeball will increase happiness over time. But I have all of these pills that will increase happiness, so we're gonna go ahead and spam it with pills. I do not recommend doing this at all unless you're in a rush like me. The happiness continually goes up. This Eevee is just extremely happy. Another method is to use different berries. So we're gonna go ahead and feed this Eevee lots of berries. I guess I'll eat some berries too so that I can be happy. Don't eat the berries, actually. They're poisonous. Nobody told me this. Eat the berry, 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 eat the berry. All right, happiness is capped out at 255. Now, if this Eevee evolves during the daytime, it should go into the Eevee. Evolution Espeon. I think this is working. It is. Wait a second, we're almost there. And it worked. Espeon is able to learn confusion. It is also now the happiest Pokemon in the entire universe. Its happiness is 255. Comparatively, our Jolteon or our Vaporeon's happiness is only 76. It has jolly nature though, so I guess that was, is good. The sheep, on the other hand, has negative 9,000 happiness. Nobody touched the sheep. Birch tree. That means there's Eevees. We shall confuse the Eevee into going into my Pokeball. Wow, it did a lot of damage. And we got the Eevee. Let's go. The next Eevee, we're gonna make super icy. All right, Eevee, in three, two, one, eat the ice stone. Uh, I never knew if they were actually eating the stones. Well, I guess we'll never know. It's evolving. Yes, look at it. We got it. The Glaceon. 
And now we can learn Icy Wind. Uh, this Eevee, in my opinion, looks the scariest. Its eyes look like they want to eat me. Not today. By the way, for those of you guys that don't know how to get the different stones, most of them you could actually go out and find fragments of stones. So for example, this is a Firestone Ore, and when I mine it, I'll get the fragment, which I can then combine together with nine other pieces in order to get the Firestone. Here you go, ship. The next Eevee illusion isn't that difficult to get. We're gonna go ahead and throw out our Eevee, and then we just need to hit it with a Leaf Stone. E Leafion. <laughs> oh, sick! We're gonna learn Razor Leaf. This thing got big. Also, the next one is perfect. Now that it's turning nighttime, we need to do the same process that we did with our Umbreon or with our Espeon in order to get Umbreon. So we throw down the Eevee. We're going to need to check its happiness. Let's see how happy this Eevee is. Uh, happiness 70. Our other Eevee's happiness is also 70. So we're going to need to go ahead and feed it lots and lots of zinc and make sure that we don't put it back in the Pokeball anytime soon. Zinc, 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 zinc. Berry, 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 so now if I hit this Eevee with a rare candy, it should evolve into an Umbreon. Very nice, very nice. Good work, Eevee. Oh, wait, we're gonna learn Snarl? That's pretty cool. And now there is only one final elemental evolution to show you guys how to do. This one is probably the most rare version of an Eevee. It's the Sylveon, and in order to get it, you're going to need to max out your happiness on your Eevee while it knows a fairy-type move. Unfortunately, the server is rebooting in 10 seconds, so we'll see you guys later. I'm currently getting slapped by tons of people on the server. If you guys would also like to come slap me, please go ahead and join. Play.anubismc.com. Stop it. Stop. 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 And we're back. Eat the berries, Eevee. It's for your own good. They're nutritious and delicious. Eevee loves them. Eevee's happiness is maxed out. Unfortunately, I do not think... Wait, is that a fairy move? I think it actually is. No way. So now if I hit it with a rare candy, it'll evolve. Hopefully it's into a Sylveon. It could become an Umbreon, but we'll see what happens. No, I messed it up. I don't want you. I'm sorry. I already have an Umbreon. Get back into my PC. Oh, okay. So I just did some research and supposedly I need to do the evolution in a Sunflower Plains biome. So we need to get another Eevee to be extremely happy. Eat the berry, 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 eat the berry. Okay, I think that should do the trick. This Eevee, unfortunately, does not know any fairy moves, but I think I can actually go to spawn and fix that. So on the server, we have a warp to go to the move tutors. We need to find the fairy tutor over here. Hello, fairy tutor. We need to use you on our Eevee. So they cost a little bit of money. It's uh, $7,500. Poor different move of in-game money. So we're going to need to go ahead and just buy baby doll eyes. Even though we just had an Eevee with that, we're going to do it anyway. Now I need to randomly teleport around until I find a sunflower plains biome. Wait, I think this might work too. This is called a flower forest. I really hope that I'm right here. Okay, no, no, I don't want the Glaceon. We're going to go ahead and we're going to toss out this Eevee and we are going to level it up one time. Please work. Come on. I think we're in one of the uh, right biomes to be in. Don't do me like this. Please just work. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. I know you want to. It didn't work. Why didn't it work? It turned into an Espeon. We already have an Espeon and an Umbreon. Well, we were able to get a Vaporeon, an Umbreon, a Flareon, an Espeon, a Glaceon, a Jolteon, and I think that was all of them. If you guys know how I did the last one wrong, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. And in a future episode, I'll be sure to get that one too. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. We're trying to hit 1 million subscribers before the end of the year. Also, check out the server, play.anewismc.com. I'll leave the info in the description down below so you guys are able to join. That's gonna wrap it up. My name is Beck Pro Eevee, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, dudes.